Hi Scorpio, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. So we're going to do your uh, week ahead reading. This is the 17th through to the uh, 23rd of June 2019. So I'm using a couple of new decks for this particular reading, darlings. We're using um, the uh, Spirit Within Tarot by Stephen Bright, which is, checked it out, I only got this yesterday, I checked it out, and I got this <laughs> the day before, which is, they're just really lovely decks. Uh, both of these um, so yeah I'm gonna use this and we're gonna use this one for the uh, midsection of the reading so the first layer of the reading where we remember we're doing the the weekly check-in reading we're using your the uh, Chiramachetti's legacy of the divine tarot beautiful deck of cards for your area looking at your current self in the week theme for the week and the key goals that you have for the week so I'm just gonna quickly before I carry on telling you what else we're using. I'm just going to quickly unbox this area here. Let me just uh, open this up. There we go. Just so I don't have to kind of uh, sit down unboxing everything. Um, I should have really done this before, actually, before I started just taking the cards out. But hey ho, let's um, get the cards out here. So we're going to. This is a nice deck. I mean, I love Chiro Marchetti. He's incredible. He's a really incredible artist, I think. He's got such a brilliant kind of, you know, mind when it comes to the tarot and what he's kind of devising on those cards. Uh, which is tarot? Sorry, this is next. The Spirit Within Tarot by Stephen Bright is the next box that we're going to be using. This is the second layer, and this will look at the uh, obstacles that you need to overcome in the week. Um, oh, there is the obstacles that you need to overcome, any major accomplishments that you're making, and uh, what you need to avoid uh, in the week. Scorpio, okay, so we just unbox that one. Oh, I should have got these out before, I think, never mind. Um, and we are using the Witch's Tarot, my good old Witch's Tarot, love this by Ellen Dugan. And we're going to use this particular deck for your final section, which is looking at what you need to embrace for the week, Scorpio. And where you can find support. All right, so we're just going to quickly get those out. Sorry about this, guys. Should have unboxed everything before. There we go. Okay. Now, finally, I've forgotten to put my thing. Sorry, guys. Some of you are like, just get on with it. Sorry about this. Let's put this back in here like this. Um, and finally, for your spiritual advice for the week, we're using the answer is simple cards by Sonia Chakwet. Absolutely stunning deck of cards. Really, really, I just love this deck. Really, really nice. We're gonna use this. They're so clear and concise and very cleverly done. Um, and it's a look, come with a lovely booklet like they all do. Right, there we go. And when I do the spiritual advice encouragement for the week, just think of a question, Scorpio, as I'm shuffling on that one. Think of a question, guys, and let's see what comes up. Right, let's get started on your reading. So, uh, Universe Spirit, can you show me who is Scorpio? Show me who Scorpio is. Sorry, this looks a bit creased, but it's not. It's just uh, it's difficult to get it the way that I want to get it, the actual sheet. Okay, Universe Spirit, can you show me who is Scorpio? Show me who Scorpio is, uh, 17th. Oh, wow, you're showing us this. That just, did you see that? Sorry guys, you've come out of the Ten of Swords. How interesting. All right. Um, but then I said who Scorpio is and I didn't use the day. So this might be, be how you're feeling right now. I'm gonna leave that out anyway, but I'm gonna shuffle again on that. Who is Scorpio between the 17th and the 23rd of June? Who is Scorpio between the 17th and the 23rd of June? Show me. I'm going to leave the Ten of Swords out, but I'm, you know, when you do tarot, you've got to be very mindful of the words that you're using. We're going to leave this, um, which area are we leaving? Yeah, we're leaving this here. This is the bottom cards. You've got to be mindful of how you ask questions, because how you ask questions is how those cards are going to answer it. So I only said the word, who is Scorpio? Some of you guys, it might be, because I'm recording this Sunday morning, the day before the 17th. Um, it might be that some of you guys are kind of like, ah, oh, I'm feeling like this this morning, and that might be why the Ten of Swords has showed up. But we'll see what you actually are through the week with that card. And can you tell me what the theme of the week will be for Scorpio? And can you show me, please, universe, uh, what will be the major accomplishment? Whoopsie-daisy. This one came up in my hand. 
So these are quite slippy, slippy cards actually. I do like them though. But they, th those two came out, so we're going to have a look at those. All right, that's our first set. And Universe Spirit, can you show me please? Um, what are the obstacles, or what is the obstacle that Scorpio needs to overcome? That one wants. That's the jumper that came out. So that's the obstacle you need to overcome. Um, and can you show me, please? Uh, oops, Adobe. I haven't asked yet. I haven't asked. What is the major accomplishment? What is Scorpio accomplishing this week? Okay. And what does Scorpio need to avoid? All right, that came out. These are beautiful cards. Okay. I think they're published by Schaefer Publishing, which is... Um, uh, apparently, they're not really known for doing really good kind of card stuff, but these ones aren't too bad. And Universe Spirit, what is it that Scorpios need to embrace this week? What do Scorpios need to embrace? Let's have a look. And uh, where can they find support if they need to find support? There we go. Now, here we go, Scorpio. Ask your question as I'm shuffling on the advice. <clears throat> what spiritual advice do you have for Scorpio this week, Universe? What's the spiritual advice? Oh, wow. That came out. Okay. I don't know whether you saw what that was. I saw what that was. All right. So here we go. We've got our cards. I remember afterwards we do a 15-card 15, 15 reading, just looking at general love and finance and career. Okay. So... You guys are showing this being the tennis. That flipped out, which was interesting. Sorry about the glossy shine on these cards. Okay. Uh, Ten of Swords is uh, usually feeling under pressure. Sometimes this can be feeling depressed. And maybe this flipped out this morning because some of you guys are feeling depressed, like via the 16th of June rather than the 17th. Because that, because I didn't say the date, I just asked who is Scorpio. I do feel well, that some of you guys probably are a little bit overwhelmed with the Ten of Swords energy. Ten of Swords often means to feel overwhelmed, to feel mentally drained for some of you guys. Yeah, it does have the connotations of ruin and being stabbed in the back. But also it's a card about just feeling it's overkill. Some of you guys, uh, you only need one sword to kill, but with the Ten of Swords, it's... And, but he's not even... I don't even know whether he's dead, to be honest. He's, can you see? He's kind of going through this mental torture. So some of you guys are feeling a little bit of torture mentally with the Ten of Swords. It might be because of work. It might be because you're just feeling drained or you're feeling kind of, you know, really out of it and really kind of um, just under pressure with the Ten of Swords energy showing here. All right. But I'm asking the 17th. So what's showing up for this? Okay. The Two of Coins reversed. That's who you are, <laughs> funnily enough. Are these meant to be reversed? No, well, no, no that, that's, that's reversed. That's definitely a reversal. Sometimes I, I put the cards the wrong way up for the camera. All right, this is why I check. You're the two of coins reversed. Um, I feel that this week you're dropping, uh, and, and this might be folding into this, where Scorpio, you, you have felt really kind of overwhelmed and under pressure with that Ten of Swords, you know, mental strain with the Ten of Swords energy. And therefore, it might be that this week you are dropping certain things with the Two of Coins. Because Two of Coins in the reverse means that you are dropping additional things. So you get this card in the upright. It's the Juggler card. It's the Two of Swords. So the Two of Swords in the upright is all about the Juggler. But when it's reversed, it's saying, well, we're not going to do that. We're not going to, you know, continue to juggle things. So I'm just going to put some cream on my hands. I just made it a little bit crusty. Um, and I think that you guys are kind of under so much pressure. It might be you're in, under pressure at work or you're under pressure at home or something like that. But with the two of coins in the reverse, some of you guys are going to be like, well, something's got to give here. Something's got to give. I'm going to have to give up. Maybe you're under pressure because you've got two jobs. I'm going to have to give up one of the jobs. Or maybe you're you know, in a leadership position at work and you've got too much responsibility. So you say, I'm going to have to put some of this responsibility over to someone else. Let's have a look at what the theme of the week is. Wow, not a sword. Eight of swords. Wow, didn't expect those cards to come up for some reason. Um, well, the theme of the week being the eight of swords means that one is feeling kind of trapped and one is feeling a sense of powerlessness. And this would make sense with the way that the reading looks already, that some of you guys do feel like this because you've got a lot on your head, you've got a lot on your shoulders, and you're saying, I've got to drop something here. 
Um, this could be work related. <clears throat> it might be with the Eight of Swords that you feel hemmed in, you feel powerless to kind of do anything maybe in your personal life. Maybe you don't have enough of a work-life balance here, Scorpio. Uh, and with the Eight of Swords and you're saying, I feel really trapped here. And, you know, you're feeling under pressure. Ten of Swords, energy, a lot of mental strain. You're saying something's got to give here because I just feel like this. So, you know, this, isn't a, this is a common thing that people feel on a daily basis when you get these cards. And I'm sorry about the glare on those cards, guys. But this is a common thing that people feel on a daily, daily basis. You know, there is times when people feel like, oh, my God, I've just got too much on. You know, this could have been Ten of Wands. This could have been Seven of Wands. But it happens to be Ten of There's a lot of mental strain some of you guys are going through. You're just doing too much. And there is a need to drop things here. Um... And uh, what, are, what is your goal for the week? There you go, the Fool. I think with the Fool, I mean, I love this version of the Fool because he's, he's kind of got all the tarot cards in front of him and they're all face up and he's saying, right, that's what I'm going to choose here. You know, he chooses his path. And I think that your goal is for the week, maybe not to do it this week, but to do it going forward, is to choose your own path because whatever this is, is not what you would choose for some of you guys. All right. Or if it's not to choose a new path, at least because the, the fall is all about breaking away as well. It's at least to break away from whatever this energy is. But some of you guys are literally probably not where you want to be. And you're kind of like, if you know, my key goal going forward is to break away from this energy showing here. It's to offload it because the fall also means to offload things off our shoulders. Or is to find the path that I want to be on because I don't want to be on this path. Um, what is the obstacle you need to overcome this week? All right, there might be a, a person here. All right, there's two things. Queen of Wands shows up here. So one of the obstacles that you might need to overcome is an individual, all right? And she won't be a bad individual. She'll just be somebody who's, you know, snap, snap, snap. And this could definitely be a work thing for some of you guys because the Queen of Wands will be somebody who is kind of a manager or, a, you know, she works in as a project manager. She's a leader when you've got the... The Queen of Wands showing up here. So, you know, one of the things you might need to overcome is somebody who's kind of... And she's someone who thrives on whatever's going on here. She likes it because she's a multitasker. All right. So you might have to kind of overcome the obstacle of dealing with somebody who's always kind of on the go and never takes her foot off the pedal. Whereas you want to take your foot off the pedal here. Or if this isn't a person, then it's about you being extraordinarily busy. Because that's Queen of Wands for you. All right, she's a multitasker, so she's always on the go. And it might be that you need to overcome the obstacle of kind of just being extraordinarily busy and having to manage more than one thing at one time, all right? Um, what is the major accomplishment that you're making for the week? Nine of coins, nice. Um, well, you know, the major accomplishment with the nine of coins, it's money, it's security. So some of you guys are securing something. Not always money with the nine of coins, because nine of coins just really talks about security. Uh, when you get the nine of coins. You know, uh, if some of you guys run your own business, then the major accomplishment is feeling secure. Some of you guys will secure probably a new property as well. Nine of coins is a flat, it's an apartment, it's a property. Nine of Coins is, uh, some of you guys might set up your own business this week because Nine of Coins is working from home. Uh, a major accomplishment is being independent as well uh, with the Nine of Coins. But Nine of Coins is also a card where you're taking time out to relax. So this is a card about, if this is anything work related, it might be the accomplishment is you're booking a day off work and you're just taking it easy and you're going to go and kind of relax with your friends and chill out with the Nine of Coins. Maybe if it's sunny, sit in the garden, do a bit of gardening, that type of thing, you know, uh, Go for something nice to eat in a nice restaurant with the Nine of Coins energy. This is also the card about just taking things easy. It's a lady that lunches, you see. So one of the accomplishments that you might have this week is just being able to take things, you know, just having a day or whatever it is to just to take a few things easy this week as well. But there might be property-related issues here and also financial gain-related issues that you're accomplishing this week. What do you need to avoid? Oh, you need to avoid the Nine of Cups. Now that's interesting. Why would you need to avoid the Nine of Cups? Well, you know, the Nine of Cups is all about indulgence. That's kind of the negative connotation of the card. It's 
eating rich foods and you know i don't think anybody should avoid uh I th i'm gonna read it a couple of ways firstly the nine of cups is the wish fulfillment card so often when we do the nine of cups we're dreaming and we're wishing uh and this can be a card of illusion as well when that comes so you need to avoid kind of getting caught up in uh perhaps dreams that are a little bit out of reach and i'm not reading it in a way that the nine of cups is that your dreams are always out of reach but Dreams that are not completely realistic, I think, with the Nine of Cups. The other thing with the Nine of Cups, I think you need to avoid, Scorpio, is uh, indulgence. And that when I say indulgence, it's indulging in the wrong foods or drinking too much. Because this is overconsumption and this is overeating and this is kind of just, you know, uh, doing a lot of bad stuff to the body and stuff like that. Because this is pure joy. You know, but usually the Nine of Cups guy is somebody, and you can see he's got all these cups around him. He likes to drink, he likes to eat, he likes to pot, hey? He likes all of that stuff. And you need to avoid, I think, uh, being a little bit hedonistic this week and probably indulging in things that aren't very good for you. I think possibly physically as well with that Nine of Cups energy. Uh, you also need to, as I said, I think, uh, avoid kind of getting involved in any type of daydreaming that is, is very kind of illusionary based right you know kind because of, this is what that this card can do as well you can get involved in kind of doing a lot of dreaming and a lot of wishing but you know is it reality and is it realistic you know uh let's have a look at what you need to embrace for the week well you need to embrace an emperor this could be a partner this could be a friend uh this could be a family member, this could be somebody's wisdom, but also if it's not an individual, it could be a boss. Um, it, it could be a very important male figure in your life, Scorpio. But if it's not any of those things, then just embrace your own power because that's what emperors are. They're powerful beings. And you just need to embrace your own power. You know, if this isn't any of those things, just embrace your own power and your own strength with the emperor energy. For some of you guys, you might need to embrace the idea that you're going to have to set some boundaries on stuff with the Emperor energy showing up here because you need to avoid doing the Nine of Cups. All right. Some of you guys might need to embrace the idea that you have to go through down the traditional route rather than the illusionary route of the Nine of Cups energy showing here. So things have to be done in a certain way, especially if you want to move out of this energy showing up here, you know. Where can you find support if you need it? You can find it from the Page of Wands. Uh, Page of Wands is PR, it's media, it's social media. So it's media feed, basically. Whenever I see the Page of Wands, he's kind of calling out. So this is uh, communication. This is hear all about it, the news. Can you see he's kind of like, hear all about it, that type of thing. All right, so you need to embrace the idea with the Page of Wands energy. Not embrace, sorry. If you want support, go to your news feeds, go to your Google, go to your, you know, if this is a job and there's too much going on and your kind of your key goal is to get something new, look at the job boards with the Page of Wands energy. Because Page of Wands is your job boards, it's your social media, it's your information sites, it's anything that's giving you news, okay, information. All right, you need to be able to do that. Uh, also, word of mouth. You need support, ask people, you know, ask, you know, um, have you heard of any new opportunities opening up, that type of thing, all right? You need to, what can support you is the information you read in here with the Page of Wands energy showing you. Uh, and finally, what is the spiritual advice? Be courageous this week. And I'm just going to quickly read on that card and see what the, um, so it's number eight and it says be courageous. So I hope that answers your question for some of you guys. Not for everyone, because it is just a general reading. So be courageous. Your ego is intimidated and wants to run away from the challenge at hand. It will offer any number of arguments to justify its fear and to tell you why you should quit now. None of which are valid. It's okay to be afraid just as long as you don't allow your fear to stop you from living the truth of your spirit. Overcoming it is easier than you think. Simply admit that you're scared. This emotion is normal, okay? The human condition is always fearful. It's the divine part of you, your spirit, that's fearless. It's courageous because it knows that the universe supports you all the way. And when God is with you, nothing is against you because nothing is greater than the divine. Admit your ego is fearful and recognize that this is normal. 
As you do so, watch your fear subside. The more you acknowledge and accept it as part of life, the less it will hold you in its grip. Allow your spirit to transform fear into a sense of adventure by breathing into it. Breath is spirit. When you inhale deeply, it gives way to courage. Summon yours by drawing in your spirit. You're protected, so breathe and stay the course. Beautiful, beautiful cards. I really love those cards because they're just so simplistic in their, you know, in their in their meanings. So that's the week for you guys. It's a really good reading. It's a really good reading. I mean, I can see here that some of you guys are really kind of like against it, up against it. Uh, there's a lot of kind of mental torture-ish type of thing going on here. I think you're just doing too much. And I think some of you guys are wanting to drop certain things to a coin traverse. And your key goal is to look for a new opportunity. Uh, there is somebody around you who might be a little bit pushy, if I'm being honest, because the Queen of Wands is always pushy. So you might be dealing with somebody who's pushy, or this is, uh, you know, the obstacle that needs to be overcome is that you're kind of doing one thing after the other, and you're having to keep really, really busy, and you're having to multitask. Some of you guys, the achievement for the week is downtime, nine of coins, having a day or two. Some of you guys might be achieving a day off here or there this week, especially from work. Uh, just to relax and go for a nice meal at a restaurant or go shopping or something like that. Some of you guys, it might be something to do with the property is a major achievement that you have or you're, you know, you're gaining more money, for example, this week with the Nine of Coins energy here. Some of you guys, it might be you're setting up a business this week. It's a work from home business, Nine of Coins energy. Some of you guys, you are getting your independence. Uh, avoid any illusions this week, kind of the, um, the propensity to daydream, okay? And avoid kind of sitting back and just wishing because it takes action to make these changes okay also avoid lots of rich foods and indulging in really bad stuff like not bad alcohol's not bad but over consumption of those things um and possibly not doing any exercise as well he tends to sit on his ass a lot lot the nine of cups and avoid burning the candle at both ends as well kind of doing your drinking and your partying along with you know work and stuff like that uh, if you can emperor is who you should embrace family member lover husband perhaps boss perhaps but also your ability uh to be strong and to be powerful uh, within yourself to make some very strong powerful decisions also embrace the idea that you're going to have to set some boundaries especially perhaps around that nine of cups energy because you guys are looking for change so it's all very one thing dreaming about change this can be a law of attraction card as well avoid just sitting back and kind of trying to attract things in that you want but not putting any effort into kind of going out there and getting stuff uh, page of Wands Energy, where you can go for support, your news feeds, your job boards, if you need to go into a job board, your Google, your social media, especially if you're looking for opportunities, that type of thing. And also the final card is be courageous. All right. Don't let anything hold you back. If you've got a goal, go for it. Okay. Don't give up. All right. That is the reading there. And what we're going to do, guys, we are actually going to... Um, I'm one, yeah, we're going to use these cards. I'm worried, just in case they're a little bit too glossy, but, um, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to use those ones, and we're going to put this one back, and this one here. All right. Let's have a look at your quick 15 minutes, uh, not 15 minutes, 15 cards, sorry, reading. I don't really have 15 minutes more to spare on this reading, because I've got to do so many others that I'm trying to get up I'm trying to get at least kind of six done today and then I'll get six done on Monday to send out so let's have a look uh, universe spirit show me what's coming in five cards any other general energies for Scorpio in five cards what are the other energies coming in for Scorpio 70 right that's one of them uh, let's pull this down show me four more cards for the other energies coming in for Scorpio 17th to the 23rd of June 2019 right so one two Hope these are, yeah, they're the right way up. So one, two, three, four, and five. All right, we've got our five cards down there. What we want to look at is love, what we can see for love coming in. Okay, Universe Spirit, what do you see for love for Scorpio? What do you see surrounding Scorpio in love? All right, there's one card that chucked itself out here. Don't quite know. I know there's a man sitting on a chair. I think that might have been the Emperor, actually. Um... Four more cards, please, universe, in terms of love between the 17th and the 23rd of June, 2019. Okay. Okay. And finally, can you show me career, 
and or money, career and or money, five cards please, 17th to the 23rd of June 2019. Okay, one, two, three, four, and five. There we go, cards down, let's get on. Let's just pull these down a little bit here guys so we've got room. For the top cards to be seen. Okay, here we go. Oh, guys, I'm going to be doing. Uh, <clears throat> there's not going to be a week ahead next week. It's going to be a July to December um, <clears throat> live spread reading per chant per sign coming up. Okay, there we go. Let's have a look. So, around the general energy, what else can we see? Three of Cups celebration. Nice. Uh, there's a celebration coming up for some of you guys. Let's have a look. Friendships, partnerships, celebration, party time. Nice. Let's have a look at what the next one is. Uh, Queen of Wands. So some of you guys are celebrating. Uh, it's either that you're celebrating with a friend, Queen of Wands energy. You could be invited because Queen of Wands, when she shows up, she's an invitation card as well. So some of you guys are celebrating with a friend. Maybe this is, a uh, mind you, Queen of Wands is a uh, time of Aries or Leo, isn't it? So... Uh, we're not in those times yet, are we? I think we're in Gemini, aren't we? So there's a celebration with a friend or some of you guys are celebrating some success or you're celebrating an invitation, okay, with the uh, Queen of Wands energy showing here. New beginnings. You might be invited to a new job or something like that. Ace of Wands is the new beginning showing here, which is really nice. These are lovely energies. Uh, some of you guys celebrating, you're attracting in a new offer or a new opportunity. Eight of Wands energy showing up here. Um, eight of Swords, though. Why is that card showing up for you? That's weird. Why have we got the Eight of Swords? Feeling trapped, though. Uh, maybe there's something here that is stopping you. Maybe there's a limitation showing up here. Eight of Swords energy. Two of Wands. I think that some of you guys are concerned about taking this new direction because the Two of Wands is all about a new adventure and the Eight of Swords is suggesting that somebody feels trapped. Okay, some of you guys, there's celebration. Okay, I, I get the impression that this is with a friend or I get the impression that you're being, you could also be invited to a party. All right, there's a couple of things I'm seeing here really. I think that the other energy is coming in Scorpio. He said there's a celebration friend or friend is inviting you to a party or something like that. You might also be celebrating with family and friends because you've been invited with the Queen of Wands energy. Uh, it looks like a new opportunity with the Ace of Wands energy, but some of you guys are a little bit reluctant, I think, with the Eight of Swords. Or you might, it might not be that you're reluctant, but you might think that your hands are a little bit tied because of, you know, having to take the, the immediacy of having to take this new direction or this new opportunity. Some of you guys might not really want to do it. Or you might be scared of doing it because the Eight of Swords also means scared. You might be celebrating a new opportunity coming in, but you might also be scared to do it as well at the same time. Let's have a look at you for your love area here. Right, there's an emperor. Same cards that he seem to be showing up for you again. Uh, somebody who's very important in your life, potentially, or an older male, potentially, showing up here. Okay, some of you guys fighting with a partner, perhaps. Five of Wands, challenges with a partner this week coming in. Let's have a look. Uh, it's nice, though. You're free from it, look. So some of you guys finally free from fights with a partner. Some of you guys have been fighting with your partner for a while, but you're free from it this week. Letting it go. Full energy. Oh, yeah. Love. Nice. Ace of Cups. Love is renewed here with the Ace of Cups energy. So beautiful. Let's have a look at the next card. Uh, seven. Some of you guys are getting a lot of attention from different lovers as well. I think these are two separate things. I think that some of you guys, if you've been fighting with a partner, I think that that's a... a I'll, I'll read a few ways, okay? I think for some of you guys, if you've been fighting with a partner, this is over. All right? Um, because this partner is going to offer you a lot of love, and they're going to show you how much you're desired. Seven of Wands doesn't just mean uh, rejection. It also means that somebody's really showing you that they want you, they desire you. All right? This can also be a lot of lovers. Uh, some of you guys might be fighting with a partner. You might decide to take a new direction here, and you, because you're being offered love by a lot of kind of um, a lot of suitors. Seven of Wands is a lot of suitors card. So some of you guys got a lot of interest from people coming in this week as well, especially if you're leaving behind a partner that you've been fighting with. Okay, 
Uh, this could work in just like, this could be completely two different things. Though you've been fighting with a partner, you're overcoming that. And some of you guys, you're finding love. There's Ace of Cups showing here. So there's love that could open up. You've got a lot of interest from a lot of people showing here. Final cards, money. I think that you're, oh, money or career. Some of you guys changing career with the Six of Swords energy. Or you're looking to change career. Six of Swords energy showing here. Um, justice energy showing up here. Finally reaching your destination. All right, some of you guys finally reaching your destination. And that could also be money. So if you've had money worries, you're finally overcoming that with the Six of Swords and the Justice card showing up here. Yeah, it's nice. You've got a lot of Justice and the Ace of Swords, though, can be legal documents. All right, so it might be that there's some legal documents arriving. This could be for a new job or for work, because Ace of Swords and Justice are legal document often. Six of Swords is the arrival. So this could, there could be the arrival of a legal document. It could be to do with work, for example, or something financial. Uh, but I also feel here, Scorpio, that what we're looking at with the Six of Swords energy is that there's a breakthrough happening here. Uh, finally, Justice energy, completion showing here. This might be in a job. It looks like some of you guys starting something new this week. Or, you know, you're in the process of doing that. You might be receiving legal documents, things that you need to sign through, that type of thing. Um... Oh, nice. Four of coins. Financial stability. Showing gaining money. Four of coins, you're gaining, fi gaining security, gaining money. Uh, ten of pentacles. Nice. Accomplishing. So accomplishment. You're gaining money. You're accomplishing a lot of money here. This accomplishment is the ten of coins energy. Some of you guys might be gaining money from family. Because ten of coins is the family card or an inheritance. Some of you guys might be gaining... Uh, it's not a huge amount of money, but it's a reasonable amount of money for the four of coins energy from a, uh, from a family member or from an inheritance, potentially. All right. But this is really good because this could be something to do with an inheritance for some of you guys. You've got, you've got Justice and Ace of Swords. That's legal documents often or signing up a legal document. Uh, and the arrival card here of the Six of Swords. You've got two money cards in the outcome as well. Uh, gaining money through a family situation and inheritance for some of you guys showing up here. Some of you guys gaining money and feeling really comfortable this week with that Ten of Coins energy showing there as well. Absolutely stunning energies for you guys showing up. Okay. Um, overcoming problems as well with the Six of Swords energy. Finally, things became becoming more harmonised and more kind of, you know, even keeled breakthrough with the ace of swords energy showing here success as well ace of swords is success in the hand feeling powerful and successful looks like you've got a breakthrough concerning work and a breakthrough concerning money this week scorpio those are excellent cards they're really 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 good cards brilliant brilliant cards all right that's how i'm reading them i think they're very very good cards okay four of coins is often you gain money card and this could be from family inheritance or this is gaining money and feeling comfortable with the ten of coins energy Achieving goals, ten of coins, energy, two money cards. Excellent, excellent reading. All right then, Scorpio, that's your reading, my darlings. I'd like to say thanks ever so much for joining me on Carol's Universe and have a great week. Take care. Bye-bye.